What is going on everyone? My name is Shaq Mac and today I have another pack opening. Today we're going to be opening up the League Series 2 Deluxe Packs for the new throwback moments that have come out. The weekly throwback moments. I have enjoyed these pack openings. Super cheap packs and as of late my pack luck has been on fire. Two Opals in the last pack opening. We've had an Opal in the last three pack openings including a Corey Maggetti from last time. But this time we have enough MT to pull up about over 20 packs worth of these throwback moments worthy cards. We've got Alex English, who I've heard some really, really good things about. We've got D'Angelo Russell. Again, another card that's going to be going for a lot. And we've also got an Elton brand. So honestly, three pretty decent cards. I haven't checked the price of either of these two, but I've heard a lot of good things about these cards. I don't know whether Alex English will be going for cheap right now, but I know I've seen D'Angelo Russell go for bid, so I'm going to actually check that right now. D'Angelo Russell. D'Angelo is going for about 300k. So a big old dub if we can manage to pull a D'Angelo Russell. Very, very big dub. But I also want to see what Alex English is like. because I've no I know that Alex English, I've seen good things about him as well. So this is actually a really, really good drop. But he's going for a buy now. All right. Out of all of them, we probably want D'Angelo Russell. Fair enough. And I'm guessing Elton Brand doesn't go for that much. I honestly don't expect him to be going for too much. Wouldn't be too much to check check him out and see whether uh, he's going for a buy now as well. And he is already below 50k. Depends what he's like. Maybe he's a cheap uh, pickup. Don't know. But all I know is these cards have some pretty decent... This pack, sorry, has some pretty decent cards. Uh, we've also got Keith Van Horn and Trey Burke. We're not looking for those two. We're looking for the very obvious Alex English, D'Angelo Russell, Elton Brand, the usual. If we can pull D'Angelo Russell, that'll be super duper helpful. But at the same time, we don't, we don't go into these pack openings looking for Galaxy Opals, especially these throwback moments ones. We look just to have a good time, talk about a few things going on in the 2K community. And I'm probably going to be talking about things like the new GOAT cards that may be coming soon, the new content that may be coming soon. I want to talk more about uh, how things are going on the channel. Just a few things here and there that you guys, if you are a regular to these types of videos, to these throwback moments videos, then you realize that these videos are just to sit down and talk. So I'm not going to waste any more time. I'm going to probably go to about 700k MT, then I'll probably be done and I will stop talking. But a lot of new content has been coming into 2k, a lot of exciting content has been coming into 2k including goat cards as you guys know the reason i've kind of been like saving up all my mt is because i want to try and get that rashad lewis he was originally going for 1.5 and i thought that may have been a reachable target but in the in the amount of time that it's taken for me to try and save up all that mt he's already skyrocketed up to 2 million he's got 2 million bid with like five like an hour left, which is not. The fact that his price still increases just shows how unbelievably overpowered that Kareem Abdul-Jabbar is. That card is such an overpowered beast that I need to have him on my squad. But at the same time, it's going to take forever for me to do so. And I don't think there's ever going to be a crash specifically for that card. Unless he's in, like, unless he becomes a dynamic duo or there's a super pack which he's involved in. I don't think I'll end up getting that card anytime soon. Unless Unless I'm lucky enough to snipe it, but he's not in packs right now. Like he's he's very very rare. There's not many of him up on the like market. But at the moment, all I'm looking for is that Rashad Lewis. I want to get him so bad. And I've done a good job at saving MT as well as making videos. I think I've managed to mix out the two pretty well. I save up all my MTs best I can and put them in my auctions. I do that quite well from these pack opening videos. As you guys know, I've been pretty lucky as well. So I've gotten a bunch of Galaxy Opals and that's helped me out as well with content, gameplay, a whole bunch of different things. It's been very helpful, but I've been able to like save my MT quite well, I think. Probably better than I ever have before. I'm just trying my best. I'd like to get to 1 million. I haven't actually been to 1 million MT on an account ever. So hitting 1 million MT on an account would be pretty cool. Just seeing seven figures on an account number would be sick. But obviously these pack openings don't help that too much. That's It's decreasing the amount we get. So, you know, we, we're not getting the Galaxy Opal as quick as we did last time. I remember in the last two pack openings, we got Galaxy Opals super duper quick. So, so now I'm kind of being brought back to reality that this is like how packs are usually supposed to go, where we barely get any Galaxy Opals. My hair 
has been absolutely horrific as a late. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It looks terrible, but... Oh, okay. Little diamond right there to the left side. We'll take it. We'll take a little diamond, boy. This one going to be Trey Burke, I think. Yeah, Trey Burke. Not bad. Okay. There's our first throwback moment of the pack opening. Welcome to the squad, Trey Burke. All right. Well, diamonds. Cool, I guess. But not who we're looking for. We're looking for the obvious Galaxy Opals, like D'Lo and all that kind of stuff. About 100k left, but the GOAT cards that I'm looking forward to, or I'm predicting, I think there's some pretty obvious ones out there. Like, I know everyone is expecting a GOAT LeBron James. I think that one's pretty expected. Am I thinking that he'll come as like a, an auctionable one or like a single player one? Honestly, not too sure. If I was to guess he'd be auctionable and he'd be in packs, because, like, there's no way 2K lets up the opportunity to make LeBron James a pullable card. There's no way that let up that opportunity. Like, you'd think that way, right? Because LeBron James is such a, uh, like, a noticeable name. You wouldn't think that you'd just let him off without getting some kind of monetary gain, at least in 2K's eye. Uh, but a card that I'm thinking may be, like, a single-player collection card or, like, a grinding card is a Goat Wilt Chamberlain because we have a Goat Kareem and he's a redeemable card that you get from uh, completing a collection. But at the same time, we may need a second type of player. Maybe not as good. I don't know how tall Wilt was. I think a center, a second center that we can have on our squad. That's also a GOAT, like Wilt Chamberlain or even Shaquille O'Neal. The more that I think about it, there's a bunch of different things that a GOAT card like at the center position could be. Wilt Chamberlain, Shaquille O'Neal, a hell of a lot of different cards that could be up for grabs, and I'm probably even forgetting right now. Another diamond. Look, all right. Diamonds, they're fine, but they're not who we're looking for. Trey Burke, you're cool and all, but you're not a Galaxy Opal. I've already told myself we're not looking for Galaxy Opals. I don't know what I'm talking about. Come on. Just be grateful with what you get, Shaq Mac. Don't be such a fool and expect everything to come up to you on a silver platter. This stuff is not how it works. So, we are happy. We are happy with our pool. And we are going to go straight into the next pack. But other GOAT cards that I could see coming. Maybe a Karl Malone. I don't know what, like, actually determines whether a card is can be a GOAT player or not. I, like, I don't think anyone knows right now. Because I know some people think Kareem is a GOAT. Some people think Wilt is a GOAT. Some people may even think Shaq's the GOAT. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. I'm not 100% sure what classifies as a GOAT. Whether he's been in GOAT conversations before. Whether he's just been an all-time great or a generational great. I'm not too sure. But there's a lot of people who could potentially come under that whole GOAT status. I'm not sure who else maybe would fall under GOAT. I just know for sure cards like Wilt Chamberlain, Shaq, and LeBron are the like most up-to-date people who could be considered a GOAT. I don't know whether we're going to see troll GOATs in the future. Like, for some reason, they give Dean Wade a GOAT card as we get a pink diamond. Hey, look at that. Who was the pink diamond again? I forgot. I don't remember who the pink diamond was. Who are you? Which one are you going to be? You are the Rockets. You're not James Harden, are you? Oh my god, there's no way that I got James Harden. Please, please be someone else. God damn it, I got Kyrie Series 2, James Harden. Fuck! <laughs> That's not who I wanted. Oh my god, of course. A current series 2 pink diamond. Whatever, man. Get out of here. We don't want you. We don't want you, James Harden. Little under 10 packs left now, but not too much stress. I've had to enjoy... I always enjoy talks like this. I say it every time, but I do enjoy talks like this where I just get to kind of sit down and chat with people as I get to open a few packs because, you know, it is that refresher. It's that refresher for my week, and I get excited for these kinds of pack openings. It's just a nice feeling getting to just sit down and talk. It is a good feeling. Next content that I'm expecting from 2K. Throwback moments, what usually comes comes after throwback moments. I, I think buzzer beaters. Buzzer beaters are usually in packs. So maybe we get some buzzer beater cards. Not too sure, but all I know is I expect Prime Series 3 to finish up sometime this week. I think Prime Series 3 will be done. I think they've really, like, milked that series quite a fair bit. So I'm expecting the last card to come out very, very soon. So not sure when we'll see that, but I'm expecting it sometime this week. I was, I would think maybe we'd be expecting cards like TakeOver or Showtime, but we had some last week and maybe they want to keep that on a two-week cycle, a fortnightly cycle. So I think they'll give those kind of cards a miss this week and so it'll probably be mainly just the prime series cards that are the big thing of the week and then we'll have things like maybe flash 
Flash would be sick. I'd love to see more Flash cards. I think those usually do well. I just don't like the glitched part of the bad at this year. The glitch, the glitch cards, I think, have made those packs a bit bad. I don't know. I don't like the idea. Cards that you can get that play out of, out of position when the main point of this year was to try and stop that and keep cards in position. So it kind of sucks that they... That glitched is something people get excited for because it's like it is just a backup on what they say It is not really something that I enjoy in 2k I mean if I were to get glitch cards I may have a different opinion But at the same time Wes unsell the only reason he's unstoppable is because they give him the stats and everything like that to make him destroy And it's just not fair. I don't think there should be any like over overpowered cards like 98 P Pink Diamond Yannis who plays a point guard position when the biggest thing this year was position locks because people were sick and tired of people who play big players out of position. I don't know why you'd try and cater to those to, to, why you try and cater to those people. It, it just baffles me that that's a thing. But if there was a glitch card to come out next, honestly, I think it'll have to be another like point guard player. Who, like if they release glitch cards where the, the card is a point guard that plays center, it's not going to be a very popular glitch card. And I think 2K have realized that with their glitched series. I think they've realized that the cards, in order for people to like actually take them seriously, they need to be like proper dubs. That's why we've had cards like Nikola Jokic, West Unsell. So what center would be good as a glitched and play at the point guard position? Honestly, not 100% sure. Like leave that, I'll leave that up to you guys. Whether you guys want to let me know in the comment section below. What cards do you think would come in a glitched flash pack? What cards do you think would best fit the glitched title or cards that you'd like to see fit the glitched title? Because I think cards like maybe Demarcus Cousins would maybe fit in it when he was on the Kings. I know Demarcus Cousins did like have some decent ball handle when he got uh, when he was in Sacramento, especially during those later years when he was like starting to head towards New Orleans. He actually had some pretty decent skills in that in that sense. So a glitch Demarcus Cousins, I think I could see that be a thing. I think that's not too far fetched. But we are at about 700 MT remaining. Let's open this. Final pack to 700 MT. Uh, hopefully you guys did enjoy this little sit down, this little talk, and a diamond to finish it off. Uh, I guess it's all right. I would have liked uh, like something in, a, in the Galaxy Opal range, but we're not always gonna get what we want. Our streak of Galaxy Opal pulls in videos comes to an end. That's absolutely fine. I was more than happy with how our pack openings had gone in previous videos. So I think I can pass on a Galaxy Opal in these ones. I think I'm absolutely fine with that. So not too stressed. I'm having to sell some shoes because I don't like it when I haven't got over 700 MT or when I'm in on exactly what I like to be <laughs> at the end of a pack opening. So let's get over that 700 mark very, very quickly. And just like that, we are. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy, please be sure to leave a like, comment down below any video ideas, suggestions, and constructive criticism, and subscribe to the channel if you are new. Every little bit of help is very much appreciated, and we are, at the moment of recording this, two subscribers away from hitting 700, so just hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and you'll make us one half closer to reaching 700, and that'd be super duper appreciated. Trying to hit a thousand before NBA 2K21 is released, so if anyone can help me out with that, Always appreciate it. Let me know in the comments below if you have subscribed. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.